Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Are you a slow eater? Do you shake your leg when you're nervous? A habit is an automatic behavioral tendency to do something. And while you may not always be aware of your habits, how they form and why you have them, they play a crucial role in how you think, feel, and act on a daily basis. So with that said, here are seven habits that reveal a lot about your personality. Number one, the way you walk. Did you know that the way you walk can actually say a lot about you? Walking in quick strides may mean that you are highly logical, self-motivated, and competitive. Those who walk with their chest forward, shoulders back, and head held high are often confident, sociable, charismatic, and attention-seeking. On the other hand, those who walk with light footsteps and duck their heads are usually sensitive, soft-spoken, and polite. A recent study in 2017 has found that convicted criminals and psychopaths often pick their potential victims simply by judging the way they walk and how vulnerable it made them seem. Number two, the way you shake hands. How do you shake someone's hand? One research in 2003 found that people with firmer handshakes tend to be more emotionally expressive, extroverted, and optimistic while those with looser grips were shy, neurotic, and insecure. Aside from that, the texture of your hands, the duration of the handshake, and whether or not you make eye contact can also play a part in how others perceive you. Number three, your online etiquette. People can also tell a lot about you just from reading a single text or email that you sent them. Did you know that your online etiquette or netiquette refers not only to the tone and content of your messages, but also the length, frequency, and speed at which you reply? Introverts tend to be more polite and formal, while extroverts are more friendly and casual. Good vocabulary shows high intelligence, but a consistent absence of typos may convey perfectionism and high conscientiousness. Those who send long emails are also noted to be energetic and detail-oriented, but may also be perceived by others as needier and more demanding. Number four, your eating habits. Are you a picky eater? Do you finish your food fast? People who are confident and level-headed tend to be slow eaters because they like to take their time to savor their food and they don't feel self-conscious about eating. Fast eaters, on the other hand, are more ambitious, goal-oriented, and moody. It's also been found that picky eaters have a tendency to be anxious, controlling, and detail-oriented. Number five, your spending habits. Are you an impulsive spender or do you like to take the time to be sure of your purchases? Impulsive spenders tend to be spontaneous, hedonistic, and enjoy living in the moment, while smart spenders are more rational, patient, and prefer to look at the bigger picture. Spending more on luxurious things like spa visits and fancy dinners may mean you like to indulge and treat yourself well, while those who spend more on essential necessities such as on groceries and utilities are more practical, responsible, and down to earth. Number six, your nervous tics. Do you have a bad habit of biting your nails or chewing your lip when you're nervous? Maybe you pick at your skin or tap your foot when you're feeling on edge. Whatever your nervous tick may be, it shows that you're feeling restless, uncomfortable, and anxious. And if you find yourself doing them more often than not, then it may mean that you have difficulty controlling your emotions, calming yourself down, and overcoming your perfectionism. And number seven, your handwriting. Do you slant your words to the right or the left? Those who have big handwriting tend to be more outgoing, people-oriented, and have a strong desire to be understood, whereas those with small handwriting are often focused, introverted, and neat. People whose handwriting slants to the left are introspective and reserved, while those with a right slant are more friendly, sentimental, and impulsive. Those with no slant tend to be logical and pragmatic. Do you relate to any of the habits we've mentioned here? What do your habits say about you? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.